Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com. And did you know that 45 million people were infected with influenza, the flu virus, in a single year in 2018? Those are the last recorded figures. 2018 confirmed 45 million people were infected worldwide with flu. 61,000 people died. 61,000 people died of flu in 2018 and that pretty much happens every year now where's the scare where are people walking around with masks gel in the hands stopping flights filling the newspapers with that news of millions of people infected and thousands of people dying from flu which most people think is no more than a bad common cold. It's not, it's a very, very contagious virus and it kills lots and lots and lots of people and infects millions every year. And yet we've got the coronavirus now, the latest scare, which the media have jumped upon to put us all into fear and limitation and lack and loss and got everybody closing borders, stopping flights, spoiling holidays, walking around with masks, adopting all sorts of extreme hygiene precautions, people in bio suits, invading markets, blaming the Chinese, causing all sorts of quarantine problems, and yet millions of people infected every year with the flu virus and thousands die you've got to get proportion around everything and you've got to understand what's going on the SARS virus which was back in 2003 was the was another epidemic then we had Tammy flu then we had chicken flu and on the back of all these epidemics and media hyped up natural occurrences they sell vaccines and can control people they can create economic sanctions and bring in laws and regulations and restrict the movement of people it's an industry the pharmaceutical industry is big business Big farmer in America, many countries in uh, many companies in Europe make a fortune by keeping people ill, making people ill, and then supplying vaccines. There is um, companies in America, and I won't name them on this video, but I'll tell you who they are if you inbox me. And you probably know if you do your research who it's been suggested have actually introduced strains of designer viruses created in laboratories as part of their biological warfare research introduced viruses into the food chain some by mistake and some by design to cull the population and to test on us i mean during the wars they used to it's known inject soldiers first and second world war they'd all line up and get the jabs and then they could see what the effect was of certain vaccines most of them filled with heavy metals aluminium is the biggest one which causes all sorts of complications within the immune system of the body but that the inoculation scam having injections injecting babies which I would never do personally but that's your choice to your children is another situation but I'm just observing and witnessing the world and seeing one fear explosion after another Brexit wow not finished but it's all over in our minds it so isn't and they milk that to death China problem and now this
coronavirus. We've got to get some perspective ourselves because we're not going to get it from our governments. We're not going to get it from our world leaders. We're not going to get it from the media. It's all designed to dumb us down, to keep us in fear, or to entertain us because for some reason they just think that we're about as intelligent as pond life. Rise above, wake up, see it for what it is, get some perspective, do your research, don't get your facts and information from Facebook or the media or so-called experts who come on the television with a white coat which is like a prop. And let's, let's put this expert, it's like these toothpaste adverts on television. And they have an actor with a white coat, oh, use this product. They're actors acting, reading a script. Most of the news is a script. It's an illusion. It's not happening the way that we're being told in so many areas. The politics, the news, world affairs, financial situation, industrial situation, health situations. It's a scam. We are unlimited in our ability to be independent from the system which is feeding us bullshit basically. Don't allow any of this to get in here. We might have to be restricted because of free movement, because of so-called terrorist attacks, so-called world viruses, so-called world financial situations, economic situations, boom and bust. Trust me, they're all manufactured and designed from a terrorist attack to people's racism, which is all hyped up, to people's hatred of the Jews, the Muslims, <laughs> whoever it is that is the common target at the moment through the media, through politics, spreading through society, because it's all been hyped up for us to whip us up into a frenzy, to keep us into keep us in fear and hatred of each other. It's all about divide and rule. Don't fall for the trick. Stay powerful. Enjoy your mind. Do your own research. And have peace of mind. Put your comments in the comments box below. Keep checking back. And be powerful. God bless.